Is it a tuk tuk? Tuk tuk? Tuk tuk motorbike. <laughs> it's the cooler one, yeah? It's cool. It's the cool one. <laughs> We've tuk tuk motorbike. Tuk tuk motorbike. Yeah. I like tuk tuk. <laughs> I like both. <laughs> We've just arrived in Paxi. Um, we took a 10 hour overnight bus from Ventiana, the capital of Laos. So we're down in southern Laos right now. Um, I had a really bad sleep, well, I didn't really sleep at all. We had, sleep a bit, we had beds in the bus, but it doesn't really help when you're six foot two and the bed comes up to your knee. So, I don't know, can't really complain much more than that. It was just horrible. But now we're down in southern Laos, um, Bugsy, and we're going to check out the area down here. There's some, apparently some awesome waterfalls, some ethnic villages, and some beautiful nature here as well. Is this the, is the center of town just over here? Yeah. Uh, like center, center for breakfast, restaurants, places to eat? Yep. Like just just here? Yeah. This is this is the center of the... Uh, oh, no, no, motorbike. <laughs> it, is a, it is a cool motorbike. Yeah. Walking, 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 walking. Yeah, we're going to walk. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Have a nice day. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Thank you. Let's go find some breakfast, eh? Okay, I was looking for the waterfall just before, and I realized it's just in front of us right here. Um, we're actually above, we're actually above the waterfall. So be careful. We'll see if we can get a good shot, okay? Hi, buddy. That is the water too. Inside? Yeah, the water yeah. from here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Are you from this village? You born here? Yeah, I born here. Uh huh. Free and in the future not have forest. We've been traveling around for the whole day on a tour. We've gone to three waterfalls, we've gone to an ethnic village, and we've also gone to a coffee and tea plantation. Um, for me, the biggest highlight so far, apart from this magnificent waterfall, of course, is the ethnic villages. Uh, we're up in northern Laos, we saw this everywhere, and we were sort of worried coming down here that we wouldn't see this authentic native way of life anymore. So we're pleasantly surprised that even though Vietnam's just over there, Thailand's just over there, Cambodia's just around the corner, they're still living this primitive, natural, authentic way of life, and it was <laughs> incredible to see. Really, it was really special to be able to interact with these kids, with parents, and they were really friendly. We just blew both me and Sophia away. It was really beautiful. We had a wonderful day. We're down here in the 4,000 Islands. We've spent the last three weeks going through the whole country of Laos. Um, it's been a pretty adventurous time. We've had some crazy ups, some crazy downs, and the worst, of course, that we lost over 400 gigabytes of film. From the whole northern part of Laos, we lost it all, so we can't show you any of the ethnic villages, any of the amazing scenery up in the north there. Um, that was really hard to deal with, but we bought a new hard drive, we got a new tripod, we got our stuff together again and we've been filming down the southern Laos here and 
You know, we had some ups and downs about Laos. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it, uh, and we realized most of the bad memories that we've had from Laos would just be me and Sophia's sort of personal things to deal with. So the reality is that Laos as a country, Laos as a culture is <laughs> absolutely incredible. For me, the two most amazing things are, of course, the nature. Absolutely beautiful here. Absolutely spectacular. And, of course, the people. The kids are just so friendly. Sabadi, they're so friendly. They want to talk to you. They're so curious about what we're doing. It was just... The warmth was just so amazing to experience. But we're going to finish this episode relaxing down here in the 4,000 Islands with some incredible... some incredible nature.